right, so hello everybody and welcome back. I am of course the fire giant and we are back with air and uh, on the second attempt uh, to see what happened to the frames this time and uh, because again I'm just I'm like I hate to say it but like I'm just kind of like disappointed like I understand that and the reason I'm looking over here is because I'm looking at a the recording session and right now we're at a nice lovely 20 frames a second which is leagues above the five frames you were getting the first time I mean I don't know this is just such a graphically intense game I, I just don't know um but of course I know like it may sound like I'm complaining a bit but like and I understand the difference between laptops and computers when it comes to hardware but this is supposed to be a good like laptop like I, I didn't go cheap with this thing so it's kind of said that this is being captured as it is anyway so enough of that so I believe we were heading to another temple um, maybe this way, or to the west. Oops. One of the two, so we're just gonna... I forgot how to turn to a bird. I've forgotten every control. Oh, wait. Nope. 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 Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Okay. So yeah, so hitting your head will turn you uh, back to a human. Okay. Like, just this music, though, too. Which makes me so sad. Like, this is such a, such a fun little game. Okay, so where am I? So I need to... Go this way? Yes. Okay. Man, I wish pulling out the map wouldn't keep bringing me to the, uh... Bring me to the actual, like, pause, like... Ooh. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's right. I think it was the. Well, that's just. Wasn't fair. That was cool, though. Alright, so another fancy tablet. So in the beginning, there was a dreamer, asleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil, she dreamed the creator and the world, modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced in the world, and there he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps, and so made the lands of the northwest south and east then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds and so the earth and water oh and from earth and water he made animals so the land and sea would be alive from stardust and eternity he made the gods to walk the lands and look after the world neat Hmm. Uh. Oh good. Not what I want. To, not what I want to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I. Don't 
believe I can interact with that. Hmm. Well, that sucks, buddy. I can't really, uh, do much. Hope you, uh, sleep well. Unless... Really? Hmm. But what if... Oh god. Hmm. Hmm. God, it just goes so fast. my god, it is a dancing crab. Oh my gosh. All hail the crab! <laughs> Okay. Hmm? Rock? What's on rock? Ah, crab. <laughs> okay. I feel bad that I cannot figure out what to do with the fox, though. Okay, so what's up with this? Oh, read part two. Now I want to read part one. No, oh. my name is Arab. And I was there the day of the great divine. My young child was ill, and I asked the animals for help. When I prayed, by the shine of Idqui, terrible brightness pierced the air, and the land trembled to scream. In terror, I took flight and watched. With eagle eyes, as the land broke into pieces which crumbled and turned to dust. Only one place seemed calm, and I flew there and perched on it. Horror struck, it was the lighthouse. Interesting. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed. I saw the priestess Kira pass by me weeping. She held the lantern key, such as they make in the city of Urza, but the lantern was dead, and the shimmer came from Kira herself, dwindling as I watched. She descended the lighthouse, and I saw that many spirit animals <clears throat> had gathered around the tower watching. When Kira came to them, they bowed their heads and then left as if at an unspoken signal. Kira then looked at me and said, You are Aram. I know you, and we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kira? She was silent for a moment and then said, A great danger has gone, but also a great light. It's time we gather all those who are lost so that we may find the way. A way, a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I've been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home to lead them here where we in time may heal again where my youngest can regain her strength interesting oh well thank goodness i can read that <laughs> Oh. 
Pretty sure those are the save points. Why won't it let me pet the goat? Okay. Nope, too far. Ugh. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is incredibly rude right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let me touch it. T. Hmm. All right, so we head west. Okay, I see it. Ooh, I also see that giant shining pillar of light too. So it doesn't look like there's any actual like collect collectibles per se. Nice. Oh. No collectibles per se, but like there's a lot of neat stuff to to definitely find. Hmm. So what is this a wise dolphin? Tell me your song. Oh. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Hmm. There are two pieces of light. Oh, those are just launch pads then. Interesting. Okay. No wait. Dang it. I saw what I needed to do like right as soon as I crashed head first into it. Daughter. 
I sought out his words to make sense of what happened to him during his journeys. My father's burden lay heavy on his shoulders. Even though we found a new home, he was never the same again. There is hope. The more the more children have been born this Yeah. And more children have been born this spring than the last. He will recover. But I think he's worried of things yet to come. I think the sickness of the black rocks my father found scared him more than anything else. It's only been once been seen once or twice. These islands uh, we want are safe. Kira is soon to have a child of her own. The laughter has returned to our hearts. I wonder if I am that child. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna keep heading west as far as I can. Okay. Do I have a journal? Nope, I completely forgot what those people told me. Ooh. Nope, just another save point. Which is fine, I guess. Ooh. Uh, okay. Too high, too high! <laughs> Soon my wings will melt in the, <laughs> in the heat of the sun. Oh my god. Twilight Lake. Okay. Dive, dive. Oh, this is big. And wrong. Maybe. Oh, it's more of the floating runes I can't touch yet. Hope for our people was restored by the wisdom of her words and refuge she gave us. The spirit animals helped, helped her hide the way in behind falling waves marked by sun and moon in the closed northeast. Okay. Ah, uh, so this was the temple I was supposed to go to. So now I'm guessing I go all the way over there. Okay. This is still very, very pretty. I th think I saw... I mean, it's gonna be funny if I'm too high up now that I can't see anything, but... We'll actually go to this one first. Oh, it's a safe one. Every time. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, and it's a big bridge, too. So this was where a fish would be. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the flamingo. I mean, yeah, they aren't flamingos, but you know, it's whatever. Oh my god, look at the little baby sheep. Oh my gosh. And they love me too. So black and white. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Alright, I think that's where I'm going to call for today. Because I found that first temple. And, um. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Like, I'm really liking the music, but I think playing this game so close after playing Abzu. Uh, has me a bit eh about it. Um, but I'll, I'll give it a few. I'll give it a little bit longer to uh, to finish up and whoo, let's see ah, and find out more of what's going on with this uh, this storytelling and, and like what happened to the what happened to the world and all that. Um, but until next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this nice 20 frames a second, um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So long.